pressure meter controls and settings. The GSX controller's main function is to give you control over how the filters in your collector will be cleaned. There are two ways you can use the GSX controller to clean your filters, high pressure cleaning and continuous cleaning, also known as manual cleaning. To set up your pressure meter controls for high pressure cleaning, we will be looking at the front of the controller. On the front face of the unit, you will find a brief description of each setting. You will also notice the factory pre-programmed settings in case you ever need to go back to the original factory settings. Also, on the front is the pressure meter and the control dial. The control dial allows you to switch between clean at high pressure and continuous cleaning modes. High pressure cleaning is where dust comes into the dust collector and the differential pressure will begin to grow along with the dust buildup on the filters. When the pressure reaches the high point set on the pressure meter, the dust collector will engage the pulse system, cleaning the filters until the pressure reaches the low point set on the pressure meter. Once the low point is reached, the pulsing will stop conserving compressed air. Over the life of the filters, the high and low point will increase in pressure, so you will have to adjust them to a higher pressure. Once the pressure reaches the alarm point, it's time to change your filters. Once we turn the dial to clean at high pressure, the settings will be displayed on the pressure meter. To adjust our high, low, and alarm points, press the set button here and hold for about two seconds. The first point to adjust is the alarm point. The alarm factory setting is set at 6 inches. Most dust collectors and dust collection systems are made to change the filters out at 6 inches of pressure. If you set the alarm higher than 6 inches, the collector will continue to run at higher pressure, which could result in dust and fumes not making it the pickup point. We recommend leaving the alarm at 6 inches. Press the set button and the light should move to the low point. The low point sets the pressure level to stop the cleaning process. Once you have selected your low point, press set and it will go to the high point. The high point sets the pressure level to start the pulse cleaning process. Once you have selected your high point, press the set button to move to the next setting. The next setting that displays is the units of measure. It's currently in inches of water. If you want it to be in metric or pascals, you could make that selection. The next prompt screen is the security code section. This allows you to choose a security code to lock out anyone from changing the settings. The digital display will show three zeros with decimals in between each number. The decimal points have been added between the digits to help distinguish this number from other programming values. To set a security code, you can toggle the up and down arrows to choose the number you want. If the number is left at zero, the operator will not be prompted to enter a code when programming. If any other number is entered here, the user will be prompted at the beginning of the programming sequence to enter that number. If the number is entered correctly, the programming sequence will continue. If the number is entered incorrectly, the display will revert to normal operation. If the security code is forgotten, Camfill APC customer service must be contacted for an emergency security code. If 30 seconds elapse at any time during the setup process without toggling the pressure meter, it will go back to run mode.